So I've got this deadbeat uncle, Uncle Mike. He lives behind me in my grandmother's old house, which he has uh, turned into like a flop house, meth house, crack house, whore house, whatever you want to call it. It pretty much is like an all-purpose hangout for bums ever since she died. Um, and we can't get rid of him. There's nothing we can do. So anyway, uh, he had his power turned off for not paying the bill. And he would go out there and illegally hook it back up and they'd come turn it off and he'd do it again. They'd do it again. He'd do it again. This went on for like a year, seriously, like a year. Now, if I didn't pay my power bill, they'd be here to turn it off, you know, right away. But he, for somehow he got away with it for a year and, um, ran up a big bill, like $1,200, I think, or something like that. And, uh, they finally came out here and took the meter and took the wires off the pole or something where he couldn't hook it up anymore. And so then he's, he gets a whole bunch of car batteries, which I'm sure he probably stole out of people's cars sitting in their driveways. But he got a bunch of car batteries and he was hooking his power up with car batteries and jumper cables. Now, really, the ingenuity that it would take to do something like that, if he would put that into finding a job, making some money, you know, he could pay his power bill. But anyway, uh, he'd rather lay around and drink Bud Light, Natural Light, and whatever, and smoke all-American cigarettes, and take pills, and use meth, and I don't even know what all, um, than do that. So one morning, my husband left early, like at 6 o'clock in the morning, to take our daughter to work. And I assume my uncle thought he had left for work. Like, you know, I guess he didn't realize what day, that it was a weekend. Because, you know, when you're a bum, you don't really have to keep up with the days of the week. But um, my husband came back in about 20 minutes and caught my uncle out there in our yard by our heat pump, in his bathrobe, in his flip-flops, smoking a cigarette, brewing a pot of coffee on our heat pump. You understand? He had carried his Mr. Coffee electric coffee maker to our house and was lurking around waiting for his coffee to brew while he plugged it up to our outside outlet because uh, he thought my husband was gone and I wouldn't be up for a while, I guess. I mean, he was making coffee outside at our house. I, I mean... I don't even, I, I don't, I don't even, I don't know. I don't even know what to say about that. But he was just creeping around out there and he'd apparently been doing it for a long time. Uh, my husband told him, you know, don't be doing that anymore. We pay our light bill. We're not going to pay yours too. You know, you need to get a job. Um, then my husband hands him a dang chicken biscuit from Bojangles that he had brought home. You know, he's soft. He's too nice. I wouldn't have given him anything. But, you know, deadbeats will go to some great lengths to keep from getting a job. That's that's the bottom line. They'll go to great lengths to keep from having to work or do anything honest. You know, it's ridiculous. But, I mean, really? You gonna carry your coffee pot around and hook it up to people's houses? It's crazy.